after long time we meet again through the max college so we are ready to share our knowledge with you then join with the max college okay my dear students in my first lesson i select the lesson of set related to the grade math okay go through the lesson now lesson 6 you have already learn about the set lesson in the previous grade first look at it what is the set a set is collection of items that can be clearly identified a set is collection of items set is the collection of some group it can be clearly identified as a example considering the even numbers less than 10 odd numbers and the uh, vowels of the english alphabet uh, the days of the week these are the examples for the sets you know that about and another special things what is the element elements of the sets the items in this sets are elements elements of the sets consider in the example set of even numbers less than 10 this is the set and the items belongs to this set 2 4 6 8 these are the name it as elements of set a set is name used in the english capital letter and another symbols do you remember that these two symbols what is it it is represented elements is an element this symbols represented not an elements of sets considering above example 2 2 is a element of set a it can be represented in symbolic form like that 2 is an element of set a using this symbol is an element element belong to set a another example i use this symbol not an element 10 10 not belong this set therefore 10 is not an element of set a okay now go through the next step now look at it and to identify another symbol related to the set lesson in the grade 8 you have learn about this symbol what is it if the number of elements in the set number of elements in the set denoted by the symbol n how to use it consider in these two examples the uh, a equals 2468 these are the set a then count in how many elements in here 1 2 3 4 therefore number of elements in set a can be written as like that symbol n the set represented letter is a n a equal 4 another example set b a e i o u count it how many elements in here 1 2 3 4 5 6. then number of elements in set b can be represented using this symbol n b put the bracket in here n b equal 5 okay next let's go next okay my dear students now i am ready to explain what are the things a, a new points you have to learn in the grade 9 related to the set lesson in the grade 9 we have to learn another type of set there are five five types of sets we want to learn in the grade 9 
at the first step, at the first time, I'm ready to explain what are the finite sets. Considering the examples when I'm writing in the blackboard, first one, A, multiple of 3 between 0 and 20. It's the one of the set. Multiple of 3 between the 0 and 20. First write the elements. Elements are in here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 18. Then the number of elements in this set can be counted. Can be counted. Therefore, it said 6 elements. Therefore, if some uh, sets elements can be counted, that set considering as finite sets finite sets the elements can be counted that set is finite sets another way i will explain the number of elements of set is six set with specific number of elements set with specific number of elements is known as a finite set specific number of elements this is the highlighted words. Considering another example, B is uh, 2, 4, 6, 7. The B, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four elements in here. B belongs to the four elements. Therefore, the elements can be counted. Then, B is a finite set. Next, go to what are the another type of sets. Okay, now consider another type of set. What is it? It is the infinite set. Infinite set. How to identify the infinite set? The infinite set, set is the opposite. Another type of set is finite set. What is it? If the number of elements cannot be a stated indefinitely. Cannot be a stated indefinitely. Can't be counted. That is the, that set is considered as infinite set. Infinite set. Example, even numbers. Considering the example, even numbers. How to write the, now we know that what are the elements belongs to even numbers. Then can't be stopping the writing of our elements. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Can't be stopping. Then can be counted also. Another example, multiple of 3. Considering, now 3 is the first element. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 281, like that. Therefore, the elements cannot be stated indefinitely in this set. These type of sets are infinite sets. Next, go another type of set now learn what are the equivalent sets equivalent sets then do you know that word is familiar to you equivalent ratio equivalent fraction now we are ready to learn what are the equivalent sets if the number of elements in the two sets that can be Two sets are equal if the number of elements in two sets are equal. There is a small mistake. Are equal. That set. That set can be named as equivalent sets if the number of elements in two sets are equal. Then the two sets are equivalent sets. Considering the example, vowels in English alphabet. Uh, writing the elements A, E, I, O, U. The number of elements N, A equal 5. And another example, odd numbers between 0 and 10. Uh, B, 
elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. NB equals 5. Then the number of elements in set A and set B are equal to the 5. Therefore, elements are equal in these two sets. Then A and B are the equivalent sets. A and B are the equivalent sets. The equivalent sets represented in these symbols. These symbols A and B are equivalent. This meaning is A and B are equivalent sets. Okay, my dear students, today I was explaining the lessons in the sets. What are the sets? How to define the sets? And another symbol related to the sets, a new symbol and the grade 10, you are learn about another symbol and also another type of sets. What are the sets? Finite sets infinite sets and the equivalent sets. How to identify finite, infinite and equivalent sets. Then I think you observe my video, you can identify clearly what are the these type of sets. Another video, I am ready to explain another type of sets. Thank you.